5 key and let's get it well, let's get ready to rumble with this one are we going to see penta pick up another flawless well and thereabouts game let's be honest 9 2 is terrifying considering we've both seen 9 6 and 9 7 already this evening from senpai in their game against inflame so two teams on either side of the spectrum was the way i highlighted it before let's see if i was correct or if that was just speculation as we are going to be jumping into desert camp once again it's probably going to be a knife round i assume Start this one off to do, uh, determine what side they will be uh, kicking off with. It looks to me just a bit of a brawl at this point. <laughs> yeah, we are going to see Penta secure that one. And that's going to mean that they are going to have the choice of side as well. Another benefit for those boys in blue, potentially. I'm, that's a prediction from me. I mean, Penta's attack wasn't bad, but putting even extra more pressure onto Anixia by saying, okay, so you're at a disadvantage, you lose this map, you're out. Well, you're not out, but you lose out on the game. Hmm. I think I might want to drop them, on, drop them onto the attacking side. That would just apply extra pressure because they have to make the moves. They have to make the plays. So we'll see what they choose to go for. They are going to be loading into this one. We are actually going to be seeing the Penta side choose to attack first. Maybe they want to be applying the pressure. So, uh, I mean, I think they get that, that that makes less sense to me. But uh, let's be honest, I'm not the, the, I'm not the player. And uh, these guys, the veterans, it seems, in this matchup. Penta seem to have a real good understanding of both their opponent. And also themselves as a team. They seem to be communicating well as well. Aeon is a player I'm going to have my eyes on. You can see I'm actually even just watching him in the ready up. As we wait for more players. This game looks quite pretty in black and white. Anyway, let's get rid of that. I'll click my fingers in three, two, one. Magical. Anyway, let's see how we're going to kick this one off. Penta on the left-hand side of the screens. And on the right, Inixia. Let's see how this one starts. Aeon was the player I said I was going to watch. And there's a reason for that. As he does just catch a glimpse of crazy. Not going to be enough to connect the frag, though. As gravity has been brought low, not as low as Aeon though, as he did catch a native asking just as I joined away. Race, whoa, rarely going to be seeing him missing bullets like that, but he does. And that was all asking, he's picked up three francs already just in this first round, his debut on Desert Camp. And where is Mara? Going down, but not going down without a fight. Did he put some damage in towards number seven or not, as I've been calling him. Just, just dubbing him two different names, you know me. Giving him some, uh, some variations. But still, first frag picked up, first round picked up, excuse me. That's a good start for Anixia. They've picked up 50% of the rounds that they managed to pick up in game one. See if they can do the impossible and pick up a second straight off the bat. It's all going to come down to these opening exchanges. And so far, both sides playing it cool. Especially, of course, the defenders. Crazy positioning. Look at that on the side. He's just waiting for them to push through the underpass area. They are having absolutely none of it. Razor's made the most ground, though. He's gathered the most footing. Has not. It's going to open up into gravity. That's a good start. Two down already. As Marat has already made the similar fate. And this could be a much, much better start for Inixia. There's one player just around the corner. I think Aeon's well and truly aware of it. His teammate are, is pressuring up middle, so that's going to enable him to get a little bit more actively peeking on towards this A site. There's no one there. Unless he's looking behind the jeep. There is. Oh my lord, what a wallbang. Straight on through onto Crimea River. There was the, the exchange there, and that's what we were seeing a distinct lack of on the side of Anixia beforehand. As wow, a big shot there from a raise. Did put it into Knot before they traded that one out. And now all onto Hex. So we've seen bigger clutches before. He's got the health to work with, he's got the bomb going down as well. King and Crazy going to be on the hunt. And he's got plenty of time to try and find himself in a safer position. This man just around the corner. He must have heard him. Oh, wow. Asking down the pre-fire there. But Crazy's just a little too quick. I'm just seeing... Is Gravity disconnected? I'm slightly concerned that they are in Penta are a man down. That's the defuse will be coming in. Courtesy of Crazy. Two Penta members have disappeared. What is happening there? Left the battlefield, left the battlefield. Scroll up and see what the chat's saying. Either way, 
Come back to me for a second and we'll try and work out what on earth just happened there. See if I can have some explanation from the teams. Maybe there was a problem with uh, his connection. Player crash. Yeah, so gravity PC crashed. So we're just going to be uh, holding out for that one. We just get some intel from the players, guys, just to keep you informed as well. That's always important. So, do we start again? Or... Sorry about that, just staring at my screen so I can get the information for you. They are going to be starting again at 2 0. <laughs> I've got the score wrong and the players are abusing me. Either way, that means we are ready to jump on back in with the uh, correct score. Penta 2 0 down. And that's more of a con that's concern for the boys in blue in Nixia who are going to be hopefully trying to double their score from last time. Let's not forget they picked up two. Uh, over on map one now into map two and they've already reached that threshold in the first two rounds that is that's night and day so um we'll have our eyes on these guys and see if they can really draw this one out and that's going to be important for the uh nixia side we're just going to be waiting for gravity to get his pc back up and running He is back, and we are just going to be readying up. So, sorry for the short delay. They're going to be ready to jump on back into the server. And uh, a small personal plug while we do load on in. If you are enjoying the stream, do be sure to get over to my Twitter. I'm uh, I'm still trying to catch up on that, but it is at Machini TV. And uh, you can tweet me and let me know any feedback on this game. And maybe, you know, if you, if you perhaps have a little bit of feedback on Penta as well, I need to get more info on these guys. That would be great, because these guys seem strong, especially on their debut for me. Uh, either way, we are going to be loading back on into Desert Camp now for our second game uh, in this best of three. Of course, MR9, if you have just joined us, this is the ESL Skill Pro League. Says it behind me. And we are going to be seeing if, and only if, Crimea River can actually get more than one frag. I'm pretty sure that guy's been at the bottom of the scoreboard from game one. And uh, even at one point, I saw him start typing in team chat, oh, Dory, oh, oh. Naughty word, sorry, was uh, his, exa his exact summary of how that round went. Because I mean, he was very responsible for a lot of those early picks that Aeon was connecting with the scope. So playing a bit more passive, potentially, we will see as it's time now for us to load on in and see how this one will shape up. So you are just going to be seeing Penta kill themselves twice to level out the scores to 2 0. It's a good job it didn't disconnect at something like 9 6. Or oh, sorry, 8 6. That would have been a lot of uh, nade killing. Yeah, I'm going to level it out to 2 0. And we'll be able to jump on back into the action to see if Anixia can continue down this path. It's a very welcoming path, I think, for them. Let's kick this one off with a bank. Starting, of course, once again with that scope presence to see if he can get any openers. And he's going to be aiming exactly what he needs to. I think he realizes his opponents are starting to learn their lesson. The smoke to come out and he just spot a glimpse of crazy. Not enough, though, to connect the frag. See where he's going to be setting himself up into that corner. Just trying to hide his weapon as well from the peak. But asking is holding the angle. Let's be honest, he's pretty safe at this point. As the assault is starting to make a move towards middle. Hexor's opened up. That's a big one. Mer Crimea River goes down once again. He's so vulnerable to these opening picks, it seems. Mara, quick pick up onto Knot. Bomb's going to be going down, and that's just the two defenders of that site on B completely wrapped up. And now for the retake. Grace through middle. He's going to spot a glimpse, and that is going to be a real nice frag alongside Crazy. Crazy picked up one as well. 30 seconds on the clock now, and three more to find. The little pre fire, as he realizes there's a whole lot more to be found. Hexor is going to be just on the outskirts. And all of a sudden, it's all down onto a raid. It's going to be a 1v1, and Grace gets the better of him. That's a big, big pickup. They got the bomb down. It was 5v3. 
And just three members on the side of Anixia managed to secure the round. And that's going to be three now on the board for Anixia. They are now doing better than they did in the 16 rounds or however. No, hang on. How many did we play? 10 rounds, 11 rounds. Maths is so difficult, I tell you. That we played just a moment ago. Primary River and his fantastic looking Famas. I'd say that's more of a fabulous looking Famas. And uh, he's going to be so cautious of this ult presence, and it is going to be there once again. Let's hang on. They are having absolutely none of it. Nice positioning from Hexor. He's hoping to find a glimpse through the smoke, and it's not going to be given to him. Is this going to be an all out offensive big pickup from Asking, though? Puts a bullet now into the brain of his comrade. That flash is going to slow down this push and slow it down fast. As you can see, the frag starting to come out. Raze and Hexor, and Hexor is going to be taken down as well. What on earth is a Raze going to do in a scenario like this? The answer is going to be very little. And as Grace does it once again, picking up these vital frags, and all three of those have been cr real crucial round winning frags. And on the side of Aeon, he's, he's really struggling to get a start. Zero kills so far for him, zero assists. He hasn't even hit someone in the leg. Or at least not usefully, as he's put the slightly scope to the side and opted for the FAMAS now. Or the FAMAS, if you're American. And trying to make an offensive towards this B site. So many players to find, and the bomb goes down now. This is exactly the scenario we saw before. This is exactly what Anixia were put in before. And last time, Grace got two opening picks. And let's see if we can do it again. He really has done one. Mara down. The smoke's going to be actually forcing him to push through it. And he's not really too afraid of that one. As now it's a 3v3, the level playing field once again is going to be questioned and Penta could potentially be in trouble here and be worried for them as it's going to be all on to Aeon and Aeon finally chimes in with one frag. That's all he needed to do His gravity was there for the rest and that's going to be round number one now on the board for Team Penta. Looking to extend that now into a second, trying to rattle a few rounds off in ex short exchanges. As the spray does go out once again, Arrays was there to try and back up his buddy. He knew that Crazy was just rushing onto the site every single time. And he's going back to that very kind of common position that we've been seeing him in. Oh, asking. No, this is one around that Jeep site. Oh, he's going to catch him, surely. No, Aeon gets the better of him, and that's a big one. Aeon now connecting, doubling his sc scores. His score, excuse me. He even says bye-bye in chat. Confident with these picks, and now Crimea River is in a bit of a dire position. Him and Cray is going to have to do something quite magical if they want a chance at this one. Look at just Craze as the frag does go out, and this is just going to be oh, delaying the inevitable. As Asking says to his team, we need to be more aggressive. They are giving them Penta a little bit too much control, and that's kind of evidenced in their players now. Penta seizing anything that's given to them, secure the second. Now nades being thrown out from the uh, not side. Wow, look at these frags get picked up. That's all of a sudden, this is how Penta roll. They like to get. They said they had to go more aggressive, and all it's done is cost them round. It seems Grace and Crimea River are going to be in a pretty unwinnable position just because they have committed so much towards the A site. And look where the bomb's gone, because it is going to be going down on B. That is going to be a frag for them onto A. But that's just going to be consolation prize, it seems. As they realize that the bomb is a mile and a half away. Haxor is still lurking around the side. That's going to catch him off. And that's okay. They haven't leveled the playing field, but time is of the essence now. 23 to find. What Grace got for them. He's going to be trying his best to try and find someone in mid. There is going to be a presence there. Just around the corner. 15 seconds now. Mara spraying down. He knows he's going to play time. That's perfect. He puts one. Puts a second in as well. So precise when he needs to be. And it looks to me that Penta starting to wake up. Now Aeon. Oh, not taunting him with the, the uh, shot there. Potentially going to be looking for another one. In the meantime, as the nades start rattling out, this is more of a standard play that we were expecting. This is more what we were kind of hoping to see from Anixia. 
Number seven just holding the angle, not, you know, forcing the cross on towards the site. As he's going to be releasing some nades. Hang on, just two frags. Both those frags were not with the sniper rifle as he just finally catch a glimpse of someone doesn't connect again. As now just three remain, two or two and a half. Asking is low and in fact he goes down now, so just one and a half. As Asking and Crimea River have got it all to do to stave off this fourth round of the equalizer from Penta. They're not going to be in the prime position. The bomb's going to be going down on towards A. Flash coming out. It's all going to come down to this one exchange. So we're going to see Hexor and Asking butt heads and do both go down. Now 1v2. It's not impossible, but it's not going to be easy. So he's going to put bullets in towards the Jeep. Not going to find anyone just yet. As the Flash is going to come out just to delay him. And it's the perfect kind of play because you have just 20 seconds now. That's a big frag. Not going to find the second as Erase is there to mop it up. And that is going to be the fourth now for Penta. Four in a row, need I remind you, as we are going to be swapping sides now to see who shall prevail in this best of three. And as I rehydrate, apologies, that's the... Uh, the other side to uh, solo casting is you do tend to have to disappear for a second for the viewers. And now, Hexor, as I do finally turn my attention to the game, we see 1v3. And that's happened really quickly. Penta obviously trying something a bit quite aggressive on their first round. That's just been shut down by Enix. Yep. On Desert Camp. Okay, bomb now in. That's going to make it even more difficult. Crimea River was the man behind the magic, behind the uh, plant and... Hexor knows, knows where he needs to expect players. There is one exactly where he pre-fired. The other's taking a much more passive angle, a much more passive approach. I don't know if I was him, I would be really frustrated, considering just how much spray he put towards those barrels as well. No time and no life, as not is going to pick that one up. So, strong first round for the uh, attacking side. They got the bomb in fast, and that's something we saw very little of from Penta. I think one successful fast B. That was pretty much all they, they put out on their attacking side. Let's see how things shape up now. They're probably going to learn some from their mistakes. Uh, let's see how they're starting to set this push up. Three over towards that A site. Two lurking around that middle area. Crime River is going to be first to try and make a push. We'll jump on board with him. If I press the right buttons, which I have finally done. <laughs> no, no, there we go. <laughs> Three players just around that corner. We're going to be seeing Asking and Crimea River pick up the two vital frags, but Aeon has decided to uh, put his FAMAS back down and up for the sniper once more. There's a player just around middle. He's going to see if he can catch a glimpse of him. It is. It's crazy, and that is the frag you need to hit. Looking for the second as well, just darting, dip, duck, dive in his head behind that box as it's going to be all onto Asking, and this is an all too familiar scenario for this player. Seems to have no problem going aggressive in the early game. That's a big pickup, a raise. Oh my lord, he's going to do it. Takes a second. That's two headshots and two kills in the same amount of seconds. And now all of a sudden, is this going to be the second insane clutch in just one game? Crazy did it before. Now asking, looking to take the reins. Aeon the asking. He's positioned himself for the surprise attack. And I don't think Aeon's going to be predicting this. That's for certain. As he's going to drop down, this could be messy, and it is! Oh, Aeon shuts Asking Streams down. He's going to have plenty of time for the defuse as well. As he's going to be bringing the sixth round, sorry, excuse me, the fifth round home for his team. Mission successful. Bomb has been defused. That's going to level the playing field once again. Let's not forget the victory from Penta in map one of this best of three. And so it, the pressure starting to mount, just four away for both sides from picking this one up. Aeon going for the opener and does connect it. What a shot as well as he puts it into number seven. I'm just calling him everything. Not number seven. One of the two. Pick and choose. But this is another fast push from the uh, Inixia guys. And they have, they have no kind of fear when they charge towards these sites. They may suffer a couple of early casualties, but that doesn't stop them from really trying to hammer it home. It is going to be a 4v4 now. Level playing field again, but that's the scary part. Because now the time is against them. 
Watching the angles. Now he's going aggressive. He's asking who should have, should have been watching because he has just defended this site gloriously. And it's going to be Grace to wrap it all up, put a bow on it, and bring six now for the attacking side. Hexor opens up nicely. That's a big start for the boys. And with Crummy River going down, this is the point I was trying to pr say, you know, kind of push beforehand is, yes, he gets frags, but he's also, whenever he tries something, he seems to be trying something. I'm doing my kind of air quotes. A little too much excuses coming in as well. Whenever he does that, he just front makes his team, his team vulnerable to an early push. Quick on the trigger, though, Aeon. And he's just to try and fight for an equalizer. Doesn't just quite find it, though, as now just two members remain. Not and Grace. Or Greece. I'm calling him Grace the whole this whole game. His name is, his name is definitely Greece. <laughs> Sons and E, potentially. Maybe that's his that's his fault. I'm gonna start making a push towards this side. There is a man just by the Jeep on the other side of things. Let's see if we can jump on with his perspective. It's gonna be gravity. Grace has to push cover, but Grace does get the frag, and that's big. They are low on health, though, and that's going to make it all too easy for the Rays to delete these players from the map. Oh, number seven onto Aeon and out. Yes, they're low, and what a shot! What a connection! Onto Grace. It's going to be a 1v1, and I don't know why Rays is anticipating this kind of back push. Of course, the bomb still loose. Number seven going to be creeping and crawling. I think Erase is double second guessing it. He's thinking he's going to be pushing towards B. He's anticipating this push through mid. Number seven's just having a bit, absolutely none of it. Erase, though, kind of smart play. More kind of uh, concerned about his back than anything else. And as soon as his bomb goes in, Erase is going to realize he's got a bit of a mountain to climb. Enemy bomb has been activated. And so, 35 seconds thrown onto the clock. Number seven hasn't uh, kind of seized as much moment as much time as he was given. This is going to come down to the wire. 20 seconds, and he hasn't made a move too much yet. Ray is so cautious, so slow with this walk that he's going to really rely on picking that opening frag up. He's going to check the corner. He's not going to find it just yet. That is it from number seven. Picks it up. He had so little health to work with, but still manages to do it. And that's going to put number seven now for an here. And they're getting dangerously close to that number nine. We could very well be seeing a third map here. Things have to change for Penta if they want to wrap this one up. Nara has gone aggressive in towards that middle area. This is an offensive defense. There's uh, Aeon into asking. AX asking has been picking up a whole lot of frags. So that's not a bad thing to pick him up. You can see him at the top of the scoreboard. 12 for him. Greece. Just trailing on nine. Wow, that's a fast plant. Number seven just destroying that Jeep as well. Doesn't want to be vulnerable while using that for an angle hold. Oh, and Aeon, he realizes. You can see that crouch, that very quick crouch as he realizes that there's going to be a scope trained on his position. 23 seconds, Greece picking one up as well. Picking up a second as the frags keep coming in from anywhere other than Aeon. Finally, it does pay off. The reward coming in. He's looking for the second as well, but it's not going to be given to him. And all of a sudden, this is going to be a 1v1. And that ends badly for Craze. As Hexor finally showing up for his team. He's just about going to be able to pull that defuse out in time. Four seconds left on the clock as he brings it down to the wire. Starts to uh, fight this one back for his team. Penta not making it easy for themselves. Race this time is going to be going aggressive. And I won't be surprised if he goes straight on cross. Oh, and he's been caught a glimpse. This is the problem, though. When you don't smoke it and do go for that fast cross, they are ready. 47 then for him. That's Kwame River. Draws blood with the first nade. That's going to be a second. Look at the nades start raining in. That's two fast nades. And that's something that Penta cannot afford to lose out on. Suddenly, defensive players are going to have a lot to work with. Or very little, sorry, excuse me, to work with. This is going to be a potential eighth round now for Team Anixia. Who 
creeping, crawling his way. I think it's more of a case of just trying to find some sort of frag. Spat, stat the pat. Stat the pats? Pad the stats. That's what I was trying to say, but not going to happen as 8 does get added up. And now it comes down really to Penta. Do they want to play that third map? Do they want to take this into overtime? You catch a glimpse of Crazy again. Crazy seems to be quite quick to dart out of his crosshairs whenever they do those two do meet. Nice angle from Greece. He's going to find the frag just yet. Should make up for it. And he doesn't. Wow, he brings Asking low, but not low enough. And Asking is going to dart away straight to some sort of cover. Next for in the meantime, on to Crazy. Gravity and Aeon have put themselves in quite a nice little crossfire for this push. You can see they're about to start making the offensive, and let's see how this one shapes up. If I can press the right buttons, I can't. I can now. There's Aeon. No, this is going to be a cross, and there's two. Two right in front of him. He does land the shot onto Grace. Not enough to keep take him down, though. As there is a very wounded attacker. Going to be thrown out of the nade and perfectly landing in the top pocket of Aeon's shirt. Now, still warming it on the clock in this battle, though it may seem quite fast-paced, doesn't need to be for the attackers. As we're going to see Crimea River equalise. Oh my lord, that's two. And now, where on earth is gravity? Two to find. It's not going to happen. We do have our victors. We're going into a third. As we're going to be seeing 6-9 the score. And Nixia managing to pick one up. Nine for them. Let's not forget the 9-2. Let me just write this down, guys. E and P. So, we're going into a third. What's that one going to be? I think it's probably going to be... Uh, what have we not seen already? I wouldn't be surprised if we see satellite. We haven't seen satellite. Haven't seen satellite today. Just get confirmation from the admin as well. 